Well, welcome everybody to Rewind the Times. How's everybody going today? Uh, so, man, my last video, uh, I talked about the, uh, the Flash Funko Pops, and I pre-ordered them, and they, they have been coming in. And today, I got three more in. I actually got four in, but I'm really, excuse my language, fucking upset about the, the, about the, the one of them that came in. I actually got the bat, the bat, um, Michael Keaton's Batman in the Batwing, and it was supposed to come in a, in a protector, and the box is destroyed. I don't even want to show it. It looks so bad. I'm so aggravated, man. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, uh these Funko Pops, they're not expensive. They, they range between 11 and 20 bucks. Uh, but this one, I could, because I love Michael Keaton, and I call, I, I message the company right away, and I'm like, listen, you know, it, it, it didn't, come, it didn't even come in a protector. It was just so destroyed, but, um, and I've never ordered from this company before too, so I don't know if I'll be ordering from them, them again. If if this is how things are gonna come in from them, you know, because I mean I work hard for my money, you know what I mean? Just like all you guys do too, you know. When you when you order something, you expect it to come in good. So, uh, but I did get three more Funko Pops, and I actually got in one yesterday. My best friend took them in. They came in the mail. Thank you, thank you, Biffy. That's what I call my uh, I call my best friend. Her name is Crystal. I call her my Biffy because <laughs> we're Biffies. I've known her since high school. Uh, they came in. They came in the mail yesterday, and she took them in. Uh, and then today came the other two. So like I did. So this this is a bunch of Funko Pops for the for the Flash. I, I overall there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten, and then there's then there's, then there's, then there's like they, that, there's four more that just came out. So there's 12, then there's two jumbo ones. So I think altogether there's uh, 14, 14 uh, uh, Funko Pops. I'm gonna get all of them except Iris West. That sounds terrible, but it's just, it's Iris West. There's nothing special about the Funko Pop. Not discriminating or anything. Uh, I just, I, I like the action ones and the, and, and, and the ones more about the main characters, you know? So, so okay, so I got three new in. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. I am gonna show you them in the in the in, in, the, in the way I like how I like to how I like to showcase them is I like to showcase them uh, from least favorite to favorite. But honestly, all three that came in are I like them all. I've liked an, I've, I've liked all six of them that I've got that have come in so far. Um, but I think today today's a today's a special day. Today's a special day. I, I was excited because I wanted to show the Batwing with the Batman. I I mean I can still show it. Uh, it's just it, the box is just so destroyed and, and the toys a little whopped inside the Funko Pops a little whopped inside the box So it just looks like shit. So I'm really upset with that But um, I like all the Funko Pops that came in like I said today So I'm gonna start off with num number three and it is Barry Allen in the Batman bat suit the bat flash suit and this one came in this one is really cool looking You can see in the picture his ears are cut off. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit you can see how, sorry for the glare, the glare guys, you can see how his ears, see how in the picture his ears are kind of cut off, and it's pretty much Michael, Michael Keaton's Batman suit, and this one's really nice, and I like, I, what I like too is, is on the face, right here, I, you can tell they, they personally made this, it's like, you can tell like it, like it was cut, you know what I mean, I really love, I can zoom in right there, see it right there, I love how they did that. But that is Barry Allen. So, so I think this is the second Barry Allen or the first Barry Allen, not the main one. The 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 one, I think the one he goes in time with. This is like the, the you know because he uses the he, it's a made up suit. So that is really cool looking. So that is my number three. I I can't wait to see this movie, guys. I'm so excited for it. Matter of fact, I got I just got I got a. My Barry Allen, my uh, it's a workout shirt. It says Bar it says every day is leg day for Barry Allen because he's the Flash, you know. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so number two, and these last two are so hard. All three were really, really hard, but the last two obviously is really hard. So super excited. This one, my number two, is Wonder Woman. So obviously, Wonder Woman has uh, there's a lot of controversy going on right now about Wonder Woman because in Shazam two. Um, it's not a spoiler. As a matter of fact, the plot lead came out over a year ago. There is, there's two scenes in the, sh and she is in Shazam 2, uh, Fury of the Gods. There are two scenes. There's, there's a running joke in the first movie of Shazam where, um, I guess Billy Bassett has a crush on, on Wonder Woman. And so they kind of like, they kind of like continue that joke in Shazam 2. And I guess the first, the first scene, the first time you see her, it's, it is played by, 
um, because it's a stand and you just don't see her face by supermodel Taylor Cahill, I think her name is. And basically what it is is, is um, it's a dream sequence. So it's a dream sequence that later on pays off in, in the third act in a really big way because Gail Gada has a very important role and because she's a god, if you're a god, she is a god. And, and her role, it pays off really important in the third act of the, of the Shazam movie where Gail Gada is in the movie. People are freaking out and stuff like that. She is in the movie. I've talked to numerous people that have seen I haven't seen a test screening yet, but I, I have friends that have seen it and they say it's awesome. It's paid off so well. They didn't tell me exactly what happened because I don't want to know. I don't want to be spoiled like that. But I was a little spoiled with this because I didn't know she was in the Shazam movie. I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know she was in the Flash movie. And most people that have Funko Pops are in the movie. So unless this came out, unless because this line just came out, so I didn't know she was in the movie. I thought maybe they took her scenes out. Well, I knew she was in the movie. I just didn't know. I don't, maybe they kept them in. I'm not sure, but... I hope she's in there. I love Gail Gada. She's my favorite Wonder Woman. Um, she will always be Wonder Woman to me, no matter what, if they change her role or not. But I think, I, my gut says that I think she's going to stay with her. I think she's going to stay with the role. I know James Gunn has mentioned about how it's kind of up in the air. And I think Gail, Gail loves this role. And honestly, she's, she was born to play Wonder Woman. And I hope she stays it. So my number two is Wonder Woman. There it is. Sorry about the glare, guys. Oh, that glare is terrible. But there she is. Okay, and my number one, these two are going together. When I when I do do my setup, these two will be definitely together. And my number one, and I know it's a lot of people's favorite out there, is Mr. Affleck himself. Batfleck. Bat, ben Affleck's Batman. Lo I cannot wait to see this. I pray to God that these two share a scene in the movie together, I hope so. I don't know if they do. Um, I have not heard if they have, but I really hope they do. And I like his suit. It's like a grayish blue suit in the movie, and you can kind of see here it is too. So there it is. The first Batman where I believe Barry Allen gets his ring from. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, you know what, man? My the reason I the reason I really really love. The reason I really, really love his Batman is because I love the Frank Miller Batman. And Ben is the is Kevin Conroy said something that is just so true about about his Batman and the way he plays Batman. Basically what he said was is so sorry, real quick, but my number one Ben Affleck Batman. Um Kevin Conroy said something that was that is that is very true. You know, when you play Batman, you're, you're basically playing two people. You're playing Bruce Wayne and you're playing Batman. So, you know, some people are good at playing one role and not the other. And then some people play, are good at playing, you know, e you know either or. It's hard, to, it's, hard, it's hard for the actor to play both roles because they're, they're just two different people. They really are. Batman is Batman and Bruce Wayne is Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Um, like, I know Clooney gets, gets crapped on a lot uh, for his Batman. But you know what? He plays an incredible Bruce Wayne. He plays the Playboy Anthrax. Uh, you know, he, he does a really good job with Bruce Wayne's bot. His Batman's not great, but my favorite Keaton, my favorite Batman is Keaton, and I think Keaton, I think Keaton plays an amazing Batman, obviously, and he does a really good job at playing Bruce Wayne. But Kevin Conroy said something, and I, and you know what? The more I watch Bat, I watch Ben Affleck. On um, you know, Batman vs Superman, or Justice League, or or anything, even 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 like the little bits and pieces of Suicide Squad, it really is true. I think I think Ben Affleck is the closest we have to both both roles being played perfectly, and that is being played Batman great, and then being played by played uh, you know Bruce Wayne great. Ben does a great job, uh, and he's, and I think he's the closest one to getting both of them complete. Um, so his his Batman is is it will always be legendary, and I can see why more and more people want him to to stay that, just want him to stay playing Batman because he's just he really is good in the role. And I and I'll be the first to tell you guys I have no problem saying this. I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong or pointing the finger at myself. As you get older, you just hey, you know what, man, I ain't perfect. Uh, I'm not perfect. I never will be perfect. I, I make mistakes. I remember when this is a stupid mistake, but I remember when Ben Affleck was cast as the role. I laughed. I said Ben Affleck from the town. Ben Affleck, like he's gonna suck. Boy, was I wrong. 
Just like I didn't understand when Heath Ledger got uh, cast as Joker. You know, this is the guy from 10 Things I Hate About You and A Knight's Tale. The, to see him play the role of a Joker, I was just like, dude, he, at that time, he, he you know, not, not saying that he, well, obviously he could play the role, but, you know, at that time, I never seen Heath stretch his acting skills out like that, you know, um, because the Joker is so sadistic and he's like, he's he's so warped in his head and he's just, guy's so out for revenge and killing his, and his, you know, just, he's a, he's a ruthless killer. It was so hard for me to, mechanical, it was just so, it was so hard to see Heath play that role. And then when he played it, it's like, wow. It's not even, it doesn't even look like Heath Ledger to me. It's, it's the Joker. When you can watch a movie and forget who's behind the role, you know, playing that character, I think that I think that that says a lot about that actor or actress. Like I know right now, real quick, just to skip around a little bit, Colin Farrell is is playing the Penguin, and they're right now I, I believe in New York they're they're doing uh, they're filming, you know they're, they're starting to do it. It's gonna, it's gonna be an HBO Max show, which I can't wait to watch. And Colin Farrell's Penguin is so different from Burgess Meredith, Burgess Meredith's Penguin, or Dane DeVito's Penguin. It's just so different. It brings like a gangster mentality to it. Um, or even, uh, or even the one that um, that was on the Gotham show. I like his Penguin. It's, I would say Colin Farrell's Penguin is more relatable to the one that was on the Gotham show because it was kind of like a gangster. The one on the Gotham, how he kind of came up through the ranks of, you know what I mean, of hanging out with uh, Butch 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 Galzine and stuff like that, and in Fish Mahoney, it was kind of like a gangster in a way, in in that in that sense. And I think that in Colin Farrell, first of all. When he puts the makeup on it, it doesn't even—you can't even tell it's Colin Farrell. And then when he acts, is man, I'll tell you now in the movie that he's actually one of my favorite things in the movie, the Batman. Um, I have his—I do have his McFarlane DC toy. When he with that, especially, especially that scar that goes across his face, you know that that, that slice mark. When he's on, when he's in the movie, he's not in a whole lot. He's in the movie, but just not—you know—not a lot, a lot. He really steals the scenes. I mean, he's just, you're like, wow, is that that? You can't believe it's Colin Farrell. I remember my, my girlfriend, when I was telling her who it was, she couldn't believe it because, the first of all, the makeup job is just amazing. And he doesn't act like Colin Farrell. Like, he is the penguin. He is Oswald Cockbot. They, they call me Ozzy. Like, I love the way he has like that, that gangster tone to him. And, and, and it's nice to see, it's nice to see Colin bring something different to that role. Like Burgess Meredith in 1966, he has the campiness of the penguin and the wank, 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 wank. And it's so funny because, you know, he does the, you know, wank, 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 and he coughs when he does it. And the, the part that, I, the, the thing that's funny about that is, is, is Burgess Meredith was a smoker most of his life. And I'm actually friends with his, his granddaughter on Facebook. She is super, super nice. She's such a sweetheart. They call her Mini Buzz because she looks just like Burgess Meredith. She really does. She's such a sweetheart, and I talked to her once, once in a while, and not all the time. And she was saying, she was telling me that her grandfather was a smoker, and he quit smoking for the longest time. And because the penguin kind of like, well, back in the day, you know, he holds, he has this, the, the smoke, you know, has a cigarette in his mouth. Well, he, he wanted to take on the role, full, full, you know, full force, and he started smoking again. And him doing, him doing the noise of wink, 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 was him actually coughing because of smoking. But it worked out so good because it sounded like him as a penguin. So he brought that to the role, you know what I mean? Which I just thought was just so cool. And then Danny DeVito, you know, having the height of, of, of a penguin. And the way he brought the maniacal, maniacal role that he brought to that in Batman Returns. I love these actors and what they bring. And that's why I think Ben will always go down as one of the best Batman of all time. Because he does such a good job of playing Bruce Wayne and then playing Batman. And I really hope, uh, I really hope he doesn't stop playing the role. I think he's meant for it. I, I know that in an interview, uh, not recently, but you know, within the last few, you know, six months or so, he said he really loved filming his scenes for the Flash. That it was some that he un, that he finally understood Batman, and I think we're, I think we're going to see a great performance from him in the movie, and I, re, I I think we're gonna we're gonna yearn for him, and I think it's gonna be sad too because we know that the DCU is coming to an end, which I, you guys, anyone who watches my videos know that I'm so against it. I I, I don't think the DCU needs to be broken up, but just hear me out. If anyone who watches my videos understands, I don't think 
the movies need to be told with better stories. You didn't need to rip the universe apart. You certainly didn't need to recast people and get rid of people like Henry Cavill. You didn't need that. You did not need that. You just need, you just need to give them better movies, better stories, just better scripts. That's all the DCEU needed. That's all it needed. Because the actors that play these roles are such good actors and actresses that they didn't need to be recasted. Like, perfect example, like Ben Affleck. You didn't need to recast him as Batman, and now we're recasting him. You definitely didn't need to recast Henry Cavill, and you're recasting him. You, you know, Gail got it. I, you don't need to recast her. She's born to play Wonder Woman, and I hope she does stay on. I think there's a good chance she's going to stay. I'm excited. But, you know, Cyborg and, and The Flash, you know, I, I, as much as Ezra Miller has been a dipshit off, off camera, I, I, I don't look at him as anybody else but Barry Allen. I don't see Ezra on the big screen. I get, I'm one of those people that when I watch entertainment, I get lost in it. Because I love entertainment. I want to, I want to, you know, fall in that world of, of entertainment movies and, and I don't want to think about everything else. So, um, but yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm, ex I'm so excited to see this movie, The Flash. Uh, but yeah, Ben's getting Ben's getting praised a lot for being the closest we have to a great Batman and a great Bruce Wayne. So, all right, guys. Well, I wanted to come in. This is going to be one video of two. I have another video that I'm going to be doing later on today. I had some Motu figures come in, and I want to do a video about them. Um, Wave twelve, two figures from Wave twelve came in. So, uh, but listen, man. Hope everybody takes care of themselves. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel and you're just scrolling by, please give a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I think I'm up to 117. I appreciate everybody that's checking out the videos and stuff. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And uh, remember, man, God first and family. And until the next video, guys, just like The Flash, I'm out. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Bye.